Hello everyone, this is Maxim. So good to have you back. Today we'll be working on fingering exercises you can find on the page 25 in PIT Cello Method book. Why to work on those exercises? It might be a bit boring to play them more than three or four times. And you might think, well, they have nothing to do with the exciting music I'm planning to learn in the future. Well, actually, spending time now will prepare you so much better to all challenges you will have learning new music in the future. Because every piece of music, every passage, especially a difficult one, consists of those patterns. And when we work on those difficult passages, we break them into the small segments. And that's exactly what we'll be doing here. So brace yourself, be patient. And when you repeat those exercises, all 12 of them, many, many times, you will notice that your fingers will get stronger. Well, you will not grow big muscles, but you will definitely notice that coordination will become so much better and you thank yourself in the future working on, on Haydn or Sansan's concerti. I will play all 12 of those exercises in tempo quarter note 60. Make sure that you're not only paying attention to the left hand, but you try to make the best sound possible. Because the left hand without right hand, intonation without sound, doesn't exist. Your left hand should be relaxed yet active. So it's a very good idea to try to play without the bow. For instance, the first exercise. You will not have to make that much noise when you play it with the bow. However, if you can hear those notes even while playing with the left hand only, that means that your fingers are active enough and that will help you to achieve better coordination. When you need to use the fourth finger, make sure that all other fingers are on the fingerboard. Again, third finger, all three fingers on the fingerboard, and when you have to use the fourth finger, try to keep all four fingers on the fingerboard. Of course, later on, there will be exceptions, especially when you will start using vibrato. So sometimes you might want to use the fourth finger only. Yet, the method I'm recommending you to, uh, to use would be the most practical to learn those exercises and develop your left hand skills. Now I will play all those 12 exercises on the screen it's written. However, remember about Piatti's suggestion to try all of those exercises on different strings with the same fingering.
Wow, you made it to the end of this lesson. That means you have patience and you really want to learn it right. Congratulations! Remember, you will always be rewarded for all efforts you make now. Thank you for watching. Come back soon.